Hey yo, everybody, it's Synchros here, and welcome back to another episode of Ride Spotlight. And in today's episode, we got a really neat one for you guys here. So stay tuned, and let's dive on in. Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. And before we get started, be sure to like and subscribe for more awesome Planet Coaster content. We got lots more in the works, especially with Planet Zoo dropping today at the time of this recording. Super excited about that one, so be on the lookout for some Planet Zoo videos. I have full intentions of making some lions chase some monkeys. If that is a thing you can do in that game, I will be doing it, so stay tuned. But anyways, back to the ride. We've got Dante's Inferno, created by one of our Discord builders, Amora, and she says, Howdy, I had an idea to make a ride based off of Dante's Inferno, the epic poem. It's one of my favorite books. When Planko introduced the Armada ride, I knew I could make this happen. It was very challenging for me and required me to grow as a builder to make my vision manifest into reality. You will go through the ruins down to the boarding station. Once in the boat, you are greeted by Virgil, who, take, who guides you on a trip through hell just as he guided Dante in the book. The music is royalty free from purpleplanet.com and was mixed and narrated by my friend New Dog from New Dog Productions. I hope you enjoy. Alrighty everyone, here we are. So basically what happened here is that she had started a park and her computer was catching fire and she definitely could not finish it. But anyway, somewhere in here is the ride Dante's Inferno, so we'll go through a little tour of the park, of what's here anyways as we try and find Dante's Inferno. Look at this, this is really nice. Archopolis, Archipolis? I hope I'm not slaughtering that, I'm really bad at that stuff. Okay. Through here, nice little entryway. We're just gonna kind of zip through here since this is not a park spotlight today. Looks like this had some neat potential. I would have loved to have seen this pushed a little further. Too bad that Planko is hard on computer souls. Alright, so she said it was behind the main... There's an entrance for it behind the main entrance. So is that over here? Quiz. Oh, what's this? <gasps> Dante's Inferno. Alright, let's hit up the queue. Ooh, this is cool. Probably switch it to nighttime for this ride. I don't know if there's. I didn't get any notes, but with it being a dark ride. What about New Dog Productions? So I think before we get going on this, I'm gonna make sure that the audio is turned up really well. If there's gonna be narration, sometimes those tend to come out a little quieter. And let's wait for a boat. I am Virgil. I hear you wish to view the realm of Hades. You are foolish indeed. Oh, very well. As I once guided Dante, I shall lead you through the depths of hell itself. Now prepare yourselves. Our first location is Limbo. Welcome to Limbo, a place of sorrow without torment. Here are the virtuous pagans, the great philosophers and authors, unbaptized children and others unfit to enter the kingdom of heaven. Thank you. 
Welcome to the realm of lust. Here, the wind bellows and the lust will spend eternity being blown around endlessly in the dark as punishment for their transgressions. Here in the third circle, the gluttons are punished amidst eternal rain and mounted cold and heavy. They lay in a filthy mixture of shadows, putrid water, and stinking mud. Keep quiet, as Cerebus roams this circle, and you don't want to attract his attention. Here in the fourth circle of hell, the greedy are punished. They roll and pull heavy weights against each other. They wasted their lives living in greed and stockpiling their fortunes, hoarding everything and sharing nothing. Here we see the river Styx. The wrathful are punished here, furious and naked within the black mud. Their lamentations bubble to the surface, though with unbroken words as they cannot speak. If you live a cruel, vindictive, and hateful life, here is your fate. Ah, we now enter the city of Dis. Here, the heretics burn forever in tombs and coffins. Such is the fate of those who do not believe in God and the afterlife.
Here we see Phlegethon, the river of boiling blood where the violent, the assassins, and the tyrants are punished. Up ahead, we also see the wood of suicides for those who did violence against themselves. And beyond that, we see those who committed violence against God and nature. They are showered with flakes of fire while they simmer within burning sand. We now enter the Malvol. Here the frauds are punished. These are seducers, pimps, hypocrites, magicians, fortune tellers, panderers, and thieves. They are dipped in boiling pitch for their transgressions against man. We now enter the Cocytus, the deepest level of hell where the fallen angel Satan himself resides. This place is the furthest removed from the source of all warmth. The sinners here are frozen deep in ice. They are guilty of being traitors against God, country, and family. Now we shall return to Earth. Through contrition, confession, and righteousness, we will make our way up the mountain. All sins are cleansed from your soul, and soon you will be illuminated by the sun of divine grace once more. I shall leave you now, in hopes that your journey was satisfactory. Do watch your step as you exit. It is, after all, a very long way down. <laughs>
That was freaking cool. I really enjoyed that. Really good job, Amora. My only experience with Dante's Inferno is the video game, which I know you said this isn't based off, but the video game is indeed based off the epic poem, because, well, in the video game, you go fighting. It's like a, uh, know, it's just like you go around killing enemies in each of the nine circles of hell where you're trying to find your wife, I think, that death stole. And you start the game by killing death and taking a sickle. It's, it's freaking, it's an awesome game. I really like that. It's like 10 years old now, though. But regardless, I still follow this for the most part. It's been a while since I've kind of played through, but during the video game, they kind of have like narrating portions when you enter each new circle and stuff like that. And it's almost exactly how you laid it out here for us. And it was just really neat. It was kind of almost nostalgic for me anyways. And that's just for me playing the video game. So yeah, this was a lot of fun. Um, well, I guess one thing, I guess you had big plans to make a big park out of this, but I feel like you could have pushed the detail inside a little further if you didn't have all this stuff on the outside taking down your FPS. So maybe, I, I guess having this as a standalone ride would have been a little bit uh, more beneficial for the experience because you could have added a few more details here and there and just you know, packed it in a little more because I mean there were some spots there in the tunnels where there wasn't any narration going on. Like you can see it all here, it's just black, right? So there's some some dead spots, pun intended. <laughs> um, but I mean, overall, the delivery was really good, and when the narration was going on, I was totally into it. And you know what I want to find? Cause this thing creeped me out hard. Is that face that you did out of the landscaping? It's down here. Yeah, I love that. That is so good. Oh man. Uh, it definitely got a little dark on us there with the uh, people hanging from the trees, violence against themselves. But that's exactly at least how the video game was for me. Like you go through, there's dead people everywhere screaming in pain and agony. It is just, it, it, honestly, it's a really good game. For anyone who feels like playing a 10 year old game, I would suggest Dante's Inferno. It is a lot of fun. Yeah, this is the part here. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, it was, you, you definitely nailed the atmosphere with the way you have the lighting because it's just like pitch black all around with little spots and that's all you can see is just what you're trying to show us and it, it, it did work really, really well and I really enjoyed it. So really good job today here, Amora. And yeah, and especially for a builder to come up with an idea for a project like that big, like the nine circles, you did the custom narration, the audio track. And just being able to do all that and actually finish it and see it through, that's a pretty big undertaking. And that is applaudable just on its own. So really good job there. That's awesome to see. I love those kind of artistic interpretations put into a visual form. That's I love that this game is, people can do that, right? And it's delivered from a ride. That's one of my favorite parts about this game is when people do stuff like this. So awesome work here, Amora. Nothing but praise from me. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more amazing Planet Coaster content. And Planet Zoo just dropped the day as of this recording, so we're all pretty stoked about that. And we're definitely gonna have some videos in the works, probably already on the channel by the time this one comes out. So some exciting stuff happening there. And if you'd like to join our Discord community, you can do so with links down in the description for that. And we'll see you all in the next one. Bye now.